Hello, this is Dr. Masood from Soft Touch Wellness, Porter Ranch, California. Topic today, bucket list. I was talking to one of my friends and she told me about bucket list and I didn't know what the bucket list was. And she explained me, and she explained me that she actually, uh, what the bucket list was and what she did in her life and made me interested and I, I was so interested that I decided to actually dedicate a blog to it and uh, I you know I heard a lot of this celebrity that they did their bucket list or something they accomplished their goal but here is a real person mm, like us that she did and she has a very interesting story to tell you so without any further delay hello here is Isabel Good morning, everybody. I'm here to talk about my bucket list. I started it some time ago. I've completed eight parts of my bucket list, and I have about five more to go, and who's to know when I'm going to stop because I'm still living. What I want you to remember most of all is, number one, I have found joy in my life, and number two, I feel I've brought joy to others. So with that said, I'm going to give you a list of the things that I've completed on my bucket list. Tell about it, what the bucket list is for somebody so, the bucket list is for someone who sets goals in their life to complete before they they leave earth, before they go to heaven, before they go to their divine, wherever they believe. And um, they're very important, they're goals, and no one needs to know what they are. They're, they're your goals, and they make you feel good, and it's like a checkoff list. It's like, oh my goodness, I always wanted to have that hot rod cart, check, you've had it when you were 20. But mine are a little more profound, and, and they've, they've empowered other people's lives, and that was very important to me. So I'm going to start with the first of my eight bucket lists completed. Number one, um, as a young mother, a uh, single mother of two, I paid for each of my daughter's university tuition in their name so that they could have excellent credit after graduation, which means I took out the parent loans uh, and, and transferred them to their names, made all the payments, and now they're adult children and have wonderful credit. Number two bucket list was to buy each daughter a brand new car after graduation. I did it. It was a very big surprise to them because neither one of them had a car from uh, all during high school, college. It wasn't until they were 22 that they got a new car of their choice. Number three was to pay for each daughter's dream wedding. One had a guest list of 22. It was a black and white theme, very formal. That was completed. She was absolutely happy. The other one had a destination wedding of 80 people to Sonoma on a wine vineyard. And she loved that, and that was really beautiful. So that was a very heartwarming bucket list I completed. From this point on, the next uh, four bucket lists I had were for about me. C call them selfish, but they were about me. Number four was to take a motorcycle class lessons and get a motorcycle license and purchase a, motorci purchase a motorcycle. After two years of riding and thanking God he watched over me that I was never hurt, sell it and never get on them again. <laughs> Number five was to go to bartending school and learn how to make cocktails and gour for a gourmet cooking club. Um, I always wanted to be able to make someone a cocktail every time they came into my house and know exactly what the ingredients would be. I did it and I completed it. Number six was start a gourmet cooking club with five couples, friends, that lasted five years. And I did. It was sad when it broke up, but it was really, really wonderful and I have wonderful memories. Number seven was to get a second job and purchase three Grand Shopper Chanel purses, which are extremely expensive, no longer sold in the United States, and only increase in value every year. I did buy them. Those will be my daughter's inheritance. Number eight, this is a little silly, but it's take a tap dancing class. I always had a lot of energy, and I just always thought it was amusing and fun to watch someone tap dance on TV. I did it. It's extremely hard, but when I was doing it, I was very skinny. <laughs> so my other bucket list things in progress is I just began that this year, <clears throat> and they are the ones that I have not completed, is number nine, read the Holy Bible from beginning to end. I've read the Holy Bible in church growing up all through my life, but I never read it from beginning to end in its sequence. So I have started that, and it's very difficult because it requires a lot of time and dedication to comprehend it. Okay? Number 10, 
go to Tennessee for 13 days to see the Grand Ole Opry, eat barbecue, go to a honky-tonk bar, and go experience a Christian church among the devout God-praising congregation. I'm going to that in a week or so. I'm excited and can't wait. Number 11. This sounds a little funny, but it's true. Learn how to swim, float, and tread water in deep water. I can swim in a pool, but put me in something over my head, I don't feel safe. So that's on a bucket list. Number 12, learn two foreign languages, Spanish and French, during my drive time to work. I have an hour drive time to work and two and a half coming home. By then I should learn some language. Number 13, this is my most latest one because of the economy and what's going on with, with, with politics and, and finances in our world, in our country today. I would like to buy one gold bullion bark for each of my daughters as, and use it as an inheritance gift. I am always adding to my bucket list. Thank you for listening. Okay, one thing I would like you to explain. You know, can you tell right what happened after the cocktail? You learned the co you go to cocktail school, yes. and you know your colleagues start asking you to oh, do a party. Yes. Go for it. Well, well, first of all, when I went to bartending, I told my employ employer and, and and my coworkers, and they thought I was crazy. They said, 80 hours, that's crazy. It's about who has time for that, blah, blah, blah. Well, it just so happened to be that my boss took two weeks off. My husband couldn't take two weeks off. I had two weeks of vacation. I used my vacation money, went to bartending school, did the 80 hours, took the test, learned so much, took a billion notes, and now I have colleagues and bosses and people that I know say, hey, I'm having a party for 20. Can you make me a batch of Cosmos? Can you make me a batch of margaritas? Can you make me a batch of any kind of, you know, wonderful drink? Bloody Marys, everything. So now I do it, and I sell it by, the, by what, what the price is for the alcohol, and sometimes by the gallon. And they, I ask them to tip me what they think appropriate, and it's always much more than what the alcohol costs. Um, can you tell about, you know, also I want to say when you do bucket lists, you attract things in your life, how everything fall into place for your barbecue thing in the South? Yes. I'm, I'm a believer of the, of the one show that I saw many years ago called The Secret. And I really believe that if you have some desire in your life and you put yourself in that direction, that these things will come to you and, and you'll be blessed by them. And my bucket list was to go to Tennessee. Uh, for all my life, over 20 years, and then it just came to pass that my, my sister-in-law's sister lives there, and all this festivity is going to go on, and I shared them with them that that was a bucket list, and now they've invited me for 13 days so that I could fulfill that. So that's, that's a really positive thing, to just put your energy out there. If you want something, share it with someone, and make it happen. It usually comes to you. Also pray about it. Thank you for sharing this and have a great, and for all of you that listening, have a great and healthy day. Bye-bye.